Hey, Gohan here. I've tried and failed in the past, but this time I tried soaking the rat in fish juice. It's a frozen feeder thawed out completely. And I'm going to see if that works and she will eat it. It will be nice if I can get her to eat rats once in a while on top of fish, toads, and frogs. And occasional meat. I waited a little extra long too to make sure Hayes was good and hungry since her last feeding. She ain't too interested. Come on, it smells like a fish, don't it? Come on, you can do it, girl. It looks like she's actually eating it. This is the first successful rodent feeding I've had with her. I've seen her randomly doing some scrolling that soaking the rat with a piece of fish or fish juice will sometimes make the water snake eat it. They are not mammal eaters in the wild. And it actually worked. After a couple times like this, in theory, once she concepts it as food, I should be able to get her to eat one without having to use fish juice. I poured a little bit of juice out of a can of tuna on the rat after I defrosted it in hot water. This is really cool. <laughs> First time since I've had her, she successfully ate a rat. I thought I was going to have to wash it off and feed it to the ball python. This will also help because in the winter it's harder to find frogs and toads and fish don't like to bite as much in the cold weather. So I can also give her rats too once in a while. She did not want to eat it at first, but it smelt right and it worked. I recently cleaned her tank again and removed the plants and added some sticks with resurrection fern, a little spray from a mist bottle, and they come back to life. She's about outgrew her cave completely, so I will either make something or buy her another cave, but that's when I put her in a larger aquarium. This is a 55 gallon aquarium and she has outgrown it a bit. She needs something larger, but the tank is spotless. Trying to get that leaf out of your mouth. She will probably soak for a bit too. After most feedings, she likes soaking in the water dish for a little bit. Yeah, she got it right out. She's really good about not swallowing leaves or sticks when she eats. Isn't she looking great? She's gotten darker now that she's older. They get darker. But you can still see her bands and patterns, especially after her shedding. I also have a small black racer, but I haven't been able to get a good video of it. It's highly aggressive and very skittish. I feed it frogs in a small, separate feeding container, and I can drop lizards right in here since the banded water snake will not eat a lizard. Who knows, though, if I put some fish juice on it, she might go after a lizard, too. <laughs> I don't know how long I'll keep the black racer. I've had it a few months. It's a young one, and it's gotten a bit bigger. But they do not like captivity, and they need a very large enclosure to be happy. 
but it gets along great with haze. Black snakes may be cannibalistic, but even a full-grown black racer would stand no chance of eating such a large snake. <laughs> they even bask in the sun together. The black racer is getting ready to shed, so it's hiding under the leaves right over here. It hides when it's getting ready to shed, and then often rests in the sun or gets on the lid where I have a few bread ties and relaxes under the light getting direct warmth. But I will try to video the black snake in the future. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm excited that I finally got her to eat a rat. I've had her since she was a baby. Please leave a comment and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video.